morning. I have not vlogged in days. I have a huge pimple on my chin and I am getting sick. I am not good at this vlogtober thing. Um, I'm like just lazy and busy and I literally can't stop looking at this. Um, so yeah, like I guess like we're just, I mean there's nobody like policing me if I like don't vlog every day of October. So we're just gonna like roll with it I guess. Um, my hair is like a curly mess. I'm currently sitting at my desk on Sunday morning, afternoon, what time is it? It's 12.34. I'm writing an article that's due tomorrow and I have to blog and I have to make I have to meal prep and there's kids screaming outside my window there's these kids next door who go outside like doesn't matter if it's like raining snowing hailing windy doesn't matter they're always outside um and they just scream they're not they're playing but they're not like screaming like throw me the ball like they're literally just screaming bloody murder i don't know why it wakes me up every weekend thankfully it didn't wake me up today but they're doing it now and i just like don't understand why are you screaming they're like probably like eight years old like you could probably you could probably hear them like i don't understand what's going on and they just do this constantly it's just like shut up um like, I have no problem, like, hearing kids play outside. I'm, I'm, like, glad that kids are playing outside and, like, are not on, like, video games and computers and stuff. But, like, why are you screaming? It doesn't make sense. As you can tell, I'm very tired. The weather finally let up in New York, and it is freezing. It was, like, 45 degrees last night. It's 55 degrees this morning. Like, I'm freezing. Uh, maybe it's because, um... We like haven't, oops, it's like putting you on my, my cup. Maybe it's because we haven't like had cold weather in so long, but like I'm so cold and I really do think that I'm getting sick. Like I woke up this morning super nauseous and very dizzy with the worst headache. I took an Excedrin migraine, but like I feel feel a little better but like my head feels better but like I'm so nauseous and just feel so sick and I like don't know why um I mean I could try to take a nap later but I have so much work to do um I do have to go out and get something for dinner tonight because my mom and my sister are both at work so I'm gonna take a nice full stroll to the grocery store it's just up the block but I have an article due tomorrow and I have to finish it because it's like really long and then I have to blog and then I really should what else is on my list I would like to take a social media certificate certification course on HubSpot Academy I like really want to do that and then like I'd also like to maybe like write a chapter of my book and like I just have like a lot to do yesterday I I wrote like I had another blog I had a different blog post for like another website do and then I started this article and then I napped and I cleaned my room and then I went out last night um, oh my god those kids were so loud I went out um, I went to dinner and then we we and I mean somebody went to um, something called the rise of the jack-o-lanterns and if you follow me on Instagram I posted a picture of it this morning and it's like in um, it's in Old Westbury on Long Island and it's basically you walk through the woods and like there's thousands and thousands and thousands of jack-o-lanterns carved like all on the floor like carved into like simple um, faces with like candles inside but then like the main attraction is that there's jack-o-lanterns carved into like scenes and people and like just crazy shit um definitely look it up on instagram definitely like i posted a picture and it was like the it was astrology and they had um they had all the signs carved on little pumpkins but then like in the back they had tarot cards carved out of pumpkins and it's like the sickest thing and like there's so many people and you like walk through you get like hot chocolate or hot cider and like donuts before and then you like walk through 
um, and it's like super dark and there's so many people it's so so cool I went last year for the first time with my cousin and her baby and then we went I went back this year with somebody that's all I'll say um, and then I went back we watched a movie and then I got home at like 1 o'clock 1 30 in the morning and I slept till 10 this morning and I'm just so tired um I have to I have work tomorrow but one of my friends my like best work friends coming back from maternity leave tomorrow so I'm so excited to see her and then this week will be like fine week I do have off on Thursday I do have to go back to the doctor for my leg to just like examine the stitches that he took out two weeks ago um I took the bandage off Thursday and I've been applying Neosporin on it and I literally look like a bad Halloween costume it's so gross but I'm just happy to like have the bandage off have everything like start to heal and I just want to make sure I'm going back to I don't have to go back but I just want him to like look at it especially because it was bleeding a little bit at the beginning of this week so I just want to like make sure everything's okay um, and I also want to ask him when I can go back to the gym because I haven't been to the gym since like September like 20th so it's like coming up on a month that I haven't been to the gym or even like worked out at all. And I haven't really, I haven't gained any weight either. So like, I'm like very thankful for that. But I really do want to like get back to the gym because like, I just feel like maybe that's why I haven't like been feeling right. I also want to meal prep. Make, I'm looking at like my planner, what I want to meal prep. I'm going to meal prep some egg muffins, some cauliflower rice and some wontons. And then... I'm gonna try to make some cupcakes um but yeah I just wanted to hop on the vlog because it's like the first time I've had time to vlog all week it was a very strange week at work I had a lot going on um I did a lot of running around a lot of photo shoots it was just like very busy but in like a weird way and then Friday I was so tired and didn't feel good when I got home I got dinner with my sister but then like I had fallen asleep after work and I was like supposed to go out with my friends and I like literally slept through it and then me and my sister got dinner because I was like starving when I woke up at like nine o'clock um yeah I'm gonna try to like do a face mask maybe clean my makeup brushes I'm very ambitious this Sunday as I sit at my desk and stare at this article that has to be finished I just want those kids to shut up okay that's really all I have to say. Oh, I do want to show you one thing. I got a new Kate Spade bag. I ordered it on last Sunday on eBay. Um, it's currently like on the Kate Spade website for two hundred and sixty-eight dollars, but I got it for a hundred and fifty. Um, and it's a bag that I've been wanting for so long. Well, not really so long, maybe like a month and a half since it was released. I think it was released at the beginning of September. And it was like, I haven't like been loving everything Kate Spade's been putting out. Like, not really like intrigued by anything. I also haven't, I like stopped buying bags for like two months maybe. I don't know if it's been that long. But I've been trying really good to not shop. So I haven't bought it and I didn't know when I was going to be able to buy it. So I was like, you know what, let me look on ebay and see if it's like available and it was brand new with tags the person like wrote in the description that um his wife won it at an auction but she didn't like it um so they sold it and like sold it for like basically like more than 50 percent off so i used it last night for the first time i'm obsessed with it so i will show you it right now here it is it is the cameron street binks like roses something I'll leave the link to it down below but it's a backpack it is very tiny I have the merry things fur backpack that I'm pretty sure I've shown you before but it's this is much smaller and it's much more sturdier like you can't like really bend this down but it is that is it is quite big I fit my MN agenda my glasses I have the extra strap to do it as a backpack and then I fit my keys my clay and my uh cosmetic pouch in it last night and still like had room but it's the cutest bag I just have it 
hooked like this. You could see my bra, but whatever. Um, I like was gonna wear it as a backpack, but then like it kind of looked funny because it is so tiny. And my mom like wasn't crazy about it. So what you do is you hook to do it as a backpack. You hook both straps here, and then to do it as a handbag, you hook one strap here. But yesterday I kind of liked how it like carried. Like it carried like this over my shoulder and I like actually really liked it. But it is gorgeous leather, like very sturdy, sturdy leather. It's like you could really, I mean, you this is definitely like a full winter bag because of the velvet roses. But it's so beautiful. It doesn't have any feet, which is fine. Um, but it's just like the most gorgeous bag and I am totally obsessed with it. Like... I am in love. I don't remember the last time I loved a bag this much. I think the last time I loved a bag this much was probably like, I don't know. Oh, my Tory Burch Fleming uh, shoulder bag. But like, this is just absolutely stunning. I am completely in love. I, oh my God. Like, if you like small bags and you like backpacks, I highly recommend this because it's like not just a plain black bag. It has this gorgeous velvet rose detailing. It's black. It's classy. It's so, so beautiful. I will. So on that note, I'll talk to you later. Hi. I'm back again with this pimple on my face. Um, it is about maybe like two hours later. I've done basically nothing. I actually I went to Stop and Shop and got dinner for tonight and take my hair down I got dinner for tonight I got two bags of oh my god Ow. this is whew. I got two bags of steam fresh pasta veggie pasta I'll show you these are my favorite favorite lunches this time I got I haven't tried this one yet but it's penny with cheese sauce and then my other favorite is rotini alfredo they're just so good it's like really good weight watchers points like the whole bag is like four points or something like that um four or five points depending on which one you get and i just like make it in the morning before i leave for work in the microwave and then i put it in a tupperware and like that's my lunch it's so so good and it fills me up and honestly it tastes like pasta oh, that's coming from an Italian girl who loves pasta more than anything. I also picked up one of my favorite pizzas ever. It's the Cauli Power Three Cheese Pizza. And also coming from an Italian girl whose dad owns a pizza owned a pizzeria when she was little. And pizza is probably my favorite food on the planet. Um, like if I had to pick one thing to eat for the rest of my life, it would be pizza. This, I crave this more than I crave actual pizza because the cauliflower gives it like the most, the lightest, it's a cauliflower crust, but it gives it like the lightest, lightest flavoring. And I like this pizza 10 times better than the Trader Joe's cauliflower crust. I've never put sauce on that crust. Um, I usually just like make a cheesy bread because I don't like jarred sauce and I'm just not making a tomato sauce to put on pizza. So I crave this and the whole the whole thing is like 24 points and I pretty much eat the entire pizza um which isn't good because that's like a whole day's that's like a whole day worth of points but I just like can't help it sometimes So um I've had that for lunch um and that's that. I'm still writing that article and I have to still like blog and like empty the dishwasher and just like do something with my life. It's like three o'clock. I'm watching Hocus Pocus for the hundredth time. And I just, I don't know. I just wanted to hop on here, show you what I got at the store and just talk to you. And I guess I'll see you later.